653 with Molly and Al. Our phone number is 866-888-5449. Federal approval to use electronic devices throughout flights has revived a related debate over whether airline passengers should also be able to make voice calls while airborne. Under the FAA's new guidelines, flyers can use tablets, e-readers, and even smartphones from gate to gate, gate, but those devices must be switched to airplane mode, disabling cellular connections. Joining us now is travel expert Kathy Banks. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning. I don't want some knucklehead sitting next to me on a plane talking in a loud voice on his cell phone. So that, that brings up one thing. Why do people talk loud when they're on their cell phones? The reason they talk loud on their cell phones on airplanes, you know, at the gate, is because there's so much noise they can't hear. It's hard to hear and be heard on an airplane, which is why I really don't think talking on cell phones on airplanes will ever really take hold, even if it becomes allowed. Yeah, but I've I've noticed that people who are, you know, there's two things I've noticed over the years. People who are talking on a cell phone talk more loudly. Uh, I don't know why. I, I don't understand why. And number two, when they're driving in their car and they're on their cell phone that's plugged in, they're all leaning to the right. Have you ever ever noticed that? I haven't, but now I'm going to watch for it. (laughs) I I keep waiting them to fall over in their seat in the car as they're driving. (laughs) Ah, So you like the new uh, new rules, Kathy? I do, because it's, it's always been annoying to me that I have to remember to either bring a paper book or a paper magazine because that time between when they close the door and they get up to 10,000 feet, you can't read the book, your Kindle on your iPhone, right, you know. Right, right. So you have to bring a paper book, and that's annoying to me. So I'm delighted, but now I won't have to. Yeah. As a pilot, I, I've always said, you know, if there was interference, the uh, the guy sitting in the left the left seat, the, the, the PIC, the pilot in command, uh, he can get on the intercom and say, look, we're having a problem with interference. Everybody turn off all electric, uh, electronic devices. I think everybody would heed that warning from the pilot, uh, the captain, don't you? Oh, I think it would be immediate. I think yeah. if the person next to you didn't, you would just punch them in the face. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I do too. You know, I, I, do you like the idea of uh, the cell phones not being able to be used, or would you prefer that you could make cell phone calls? On a personal basis, I don't see the need because now that there's Internet on most flights, Mm -hmm. you have to pay for it, but I'm willing. You know, I can IM, I can iMessage off my Mac, which to the people on the ground seems like a text message if they have an iPhone. Mm -hmm. I I don't see the need. And besides, you know, the world can do without you for two and a half hours. I I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, I, I, I I think it's uh, I think it's fair. I think it's a nice compromise here. Yeah, I, I, I'm wondering if the young people who are on the cell phones all the time, if, if they will feel the same way that we feel, though. Well, the young people are texting. They're not on the phone. Let me let me ask Molly. Do you text versus going on the phone? She's nodding her head. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you, Kathy, you're right. All right, we've solved the, the the problems of the world this morning. Nice nice job. Thank you. There we go. On to the next <laughs> thing. There we go. Thanks, Kathy. That is Kathy Banks. She's a travel expert.